Okay, hey guys, so in today's video, um, what I wanted to do is share with you a trade that I took yesterday. And this trade is based off one of the lessons uh, that I previously taught here on the channel. And if you haven't seen that, I'll give you a, a link into this in the description. And basically what we did is we used the square of nine on an intraday, uh, on an intraday chart uh, using the moon and the, the ascendant. Uh, so yeah, so if you don't understand what I'm saying, go check out that video and everything will be clear. So how did I take this short yesterday? Uh, first of all, you can see I have angles set up here. Uh, now these angles are different from the angles that I taught uh, in my previous video because uh, those angles are based on the H1 and this is uh, for the M5 and I will put out a video later on on how to draw angles uh, on the M5. So let's get into it. Yesterday, we're looking at uh, dollar yen here. Yesterday at uh, nine, about 9.25, 9.30 server time, uh, we created a low. Okay, and uh, we created a, a low heading into the London Open. And the low was 113 uh, spot 34. So our number of interest is 34. And what we do is we plug uh, 3, 4, which is right here. We plug 3, 4 into our square of 9. And I just make sure all the settings are lined up. So the date is yesterday's date, the 20th. Um, the low is made at 9.30, 9.25. It doesn't really matter. I just put 9.30 because uh, it's just a couple minute difference. Um, and what else did I have to make sure we had here? I think that's about it for now. Yeah, so the time is set uh, to yesterday at the proper time of the low. Okay. Now, what I did was I put over the square of 9. I put a square. And I put the triangle. Now, what we're trying to do here is locate the moon at that time. And you can see the moon was at 101 degrees. And we want to know when it will hit the next point, when in the day that will be. Now, we know, um, we know that the moon uh, takes about 29 and a half days to, to complete a circle. So that doesn't help us on the intraday chart. But if we move the moon forward at, a, at the speed of the ascendant, um, which is secondary progression in astrology, uh, what we can do is we can use the moon for intraday. So if we have here the locator is set at 180 degrees, which is the next point, the square, because there's nothing in between here that the moon will touch, and we subtract that from the degree that the moon is at currently, <clears throat> we will know how many degrees the moon needs to travel. So it's a very simple calculation. We do 180 minus 101. So the moon needs to travel 79 degrees, and we want that at the rate of the ascendant. So what I do is I multiply that by 4, because the ascendant moves 4 degrees per minute, and that will give us um, how many minutes. But we're on a 5-minute chart, so we divide that by 5. And that will give us the amount of bars that uh, price um, the amount of bars that it will take for the moon to travel to this point at the rate of the ascendant. So if we go back to the chart, <clears throat> you can see I marked 63 bars. <coughs> Excuse me. So we know that uh, according to the square of nine, there should be a change in trend, 63 bars after the low is made. And as you can see, as soon as we hit 63 bars, we created a new low, right? And price never looked back. So this was a very simple technique to catch um, 3 to 1 here. <coughs> Sorry, almost uh, 4 to 1. And all we had to do was enter, put our stop loss below above this high, because if this indeed is going to create a change in trend, then we shouldn't pass this high. And we headed down to the one by one angle from this low. 
we broke through that, which indicated that price wants to head lower. And then we head down into the next angle, right? And then we had some resist, uh, some support formed here. And this is where I took my profits anyway, which was at this low, right? This low and the angle. Uh, yeah, so pretty simple trade. Um, you can see how using the square of nine, we find out the internal vibration of price. Um, and from that, we can deduce when the next uh, change in trend will be and and uh, profit from it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you didn't understand what I did here, I have a video that I put out um, teaching this and I will put the link in the description. So thanks, yeah, if you enjoyed it, give me a like, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be putting out a lot more content on GUN, uh, content that I've been uh, uh, amassing over the last uh, six or seven years. And I finally decided that I would like to share uh, most of it with the public. And yeah, uh, so have a great rest of your day.